Hi, my name's Bill, aka Billy Goat. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the shoot blocker that I installed on this Toro Time Master. <laughs> All right, it's been four years since I've uh, installed these uh, shoot blockers on uh, all my uh, finish mowers. Uh, I have it installed here on this Toro Time Master. This is a, a uh, 2021 model. And I also have uh, on this uh, Ferris uh, FW15, I have a shoot blocker installed. And this Time Master as well, this is a uh, 2017 uh, model and I also have a uh, shoot blocker installed on my Skag uh, 36 uh, uh, walk behind mower as well. This past summer of 2021 I started putting videos out on all my mowers that I've owned uh, since uh, 2013 and and I've been getting a lot of comments on the uh, shoot blockers uh, that I have installed. And I wanted to wait to this winter uh, to kind of uh, go through, you know, how I came up with the uh, concept and, and, and why I installed them on my mowers. And so I, most of the uh, uh, inquiries were coming from the uh, Toro Time Master videos. So I'm going to start with the uh, this Toro Time Master and you know i'll go through um you know all the details i won't get too pacific this is going to be a part one video and then the second uh video i'll uh, answer uh if i do get some um individual questions um you know i can go in a little bit more uh, further detail um you know on on things that you know people might be unsure on um or if they have uh, any additional um uh, questions and such Before I get started, I wanted to give you a quick uh, history on how I came up with the concept uh, the original uh, shoot blocker uh, I purchased was uh, for this uh, skag here and It was the trimmer trap uh, uh, Version and it had this bar that would come up and you could adjust the the shoot open and close uh, by turning this um, uh, lever uh, that was connected uh, with a bar there but the problem was is on this mower here um, this being a um, um, it's kind of like a if if you're familiar with uh, mowers that have uh, pistol grips um, you know the hydro uh, versions um, when you release your uh, neutral um, position here the lever here when you release the lever, the mower will go forward, and then when you squeeze the lever, uh, it goes in reverse. So you basically have to keep your uh, your stance on on the neutral position on both uh, left and right. Now the problem is, is if I needed to open and close uh, the chute, I would have to let go of the lever, and that would make the mower turn. Now. It would be very it's not very productive to keep stopping trying to control the chute um, or trying to quickly you know if you're going in a certain direction you could quickly try to adjust and it, it was you know i i run um well, we mow a lot of uh, small yards and it was just very irritating to keep stopping or being in a position to where you could quickly open and close i wanted something where on the on the fly, I could just easily uh, push a button and open and close the uh, chute, you know, as I need it. Since then, I've been using the same uh, concept on all the mowers that we have, uh, the finished mowers, and I wanted this, the same type of uh, design and uh, operation where, you know, you could easily uh, on the fly open and close um, the chute. Um, on all the mowers 
uh, same principle. Also have it on the uh, here on the uh, the Ferris uh, FW15 also uh, where you can just easily just open and close um, you know with the switch. I know there's uh, several uh, manufacturers uh, that make you know shoot blockers and they they make them for the uh, commercial uh, mowers and uh, they really don't have uh, you know kits you know, for residential. Now it was nice about you know what I designed uh, or put together uh, works just as well on uh, residential uh, mowers as well. Um, and I know uh, there's a lot of uh, do-it-yourself. Um, videos out there where you know people uh, fabricate you know their own uh, shoot you know with with a bracket or you know some you know people you know use a block of wood or or you know even cardboard um, you know as a shoot blocker and and there you know there is no uh, right or wrong you know what works for you you know some people you know they they spend you know pennies on on um, you know making uh, or having a shoot blocker of some sort or the you know they'll uh you know even um you know fabricate their own or you know even um you know others will uh you know buy kits you know and and i know you know I've, from what i've seen you know some of those kits for the commercial mowers can uh, you know get up to uh you know the 300 dollar range most of the uh the shoot blockers uh that most uh people use or or you know come you know fabricate it themselves they use um you know the manual um using some kind of bar or um you know to adjust the uh chute and then other uh some other manufacturers use uh motors um you know like this they you know which is a popular uh motor to use is a um, power window uh motor um you know works really well uh, you'll see those on on uh, some of the uh, you know the kits uh, that offer a motorized uh, you know shoot blocker setup. The motor I used uh, on the Time Master is actually a uh, it's a little 12 volt uh, motor that if you did if you googled it um, if you put a barbecue uh, grill uh, motor you would see a um, uh, you know they have several type of motors um, that they have for different grills but you would see something that um, the one I got kind of resembles uh, this and what's nice about this uh, particular one is it, it comes with a, um, a mounting bracket and I just mounted it um, you know right on the plastic piece um, for the um, you know discharge uh, that goes into the um, the bag now I didn't uh, reinvent the wheel or, or anything like that. I um, wanted to, um, you know, with the motor, um, you know, I, you know, I've seen uh, where if they are using motors, they, they you know, mount them um, on the uh, side of the deck here with some kind of linkage. And, and I didn't like that because I, I figured, um, you know eventually i'd probably hit something and, and bend the bracket or or you know mess the motor up i wanted the motor uh, mounted away um, from the edge of the deck but i wasn't sure what i was going to originally use to connect um you know the motor to the um to the i guess it's the uh, the flat part here and for some reason i i um you know came up with the uh, using a uh, flexible um, extension um, for um, for socket wrenches and that's all it is is you can get them uh, on eBay or Amazon or your you know local um, you know automotive and I'm sure you know other places you, you can find these in, in different sizes and um, if you can't you know fit your size just right you could always you know cut this and, and weld on a um, you know a socket you know to you know make a, a custom size there now of course if you know if you don't want to be you know dealing with any uh you know electrical issues or you know trying to figure out how to uh, you know get the motor and the switch and all that and you know you can easily uh, you know use a uh, swivel and um, you know 
pop a swivel on there and and you know use a you know a rod and pretty much uh mount it like like they would um you know on the commercial view uh mowers and and uh you know have a bracket here and you know easily you know open and close the um you know shoot that way now as far as the electrical uh portion of it um this mower uh, model here is the uh, recoil so it doesn't have a, um, a battery start now if you had a battery uh, start version um, you know it would be nice you know you can you know easily connect the uh, power uh, off the battery now since this is a recoil I had to come up with a um, some kind of um, you know battery system so um, so what I did was uh, underneath the uh, handlebar here, I have a, um, I made a, uh, like a battery pack. Um, this here is just a, uh, it's actually a, um, a cigarette, uh, waterproof cigarette case. And I put the, um, the lithium um, batteries in there. If you take these batteries here, um, in the next video, um, if, if people are, um, you know want to know more about the actual um you know the you know how to make these um you know battery packs um if you don't have a uh, battery um you know uh starting uh system uh you can make your own battery pack and you, you can really use any any battery pack that that produces uh you know 12 volts so it's it's not really uh, you know you have to make it you can always uh um you know find a uh, battery pack but i really like this because it's it's rechargeable and what's nice is um i really only have to charge it you know once uh once every couple weeks um because it doesn't take a lot of um you know power to um you know to open and close the chute uh, so and as far as the switch here um the switch is a um um you know the the uh the casing here is actually a, a switch casing from uh, the ATVs. Uh, they have the uh, the hoist um, on those ATVs, and they would have a switch on there to you know for their hoist and all. I used that um, casing, and then I bought a um, this type of switch here. It's a what they call a uh, double double pole. Uh, double throw um, and then again um, you know I'll explain you know how to wire it up and, and, and such but I, I just wanted to give you an idea of um, you know the basic uh, components and you know how I uh, ran the wire so one it has two wires coming off that that switch um, one goes to the battery pack and then the other uh, goes down um, you know runs along the the handlebar there and comes down and there's a uh, a quick disconnect uh you know for the motor so i try to make everything um you know accessible you know easy accessible as possible and i wanted um you know connectors put in place so if i needed to you know replace anything i could do it very quickly and also, you know, you know, troubleshooting uh, purposes. So if the motor went bad, I can just, you know, you know, pop on a new motor. Um, and if the switch or something went bad, I can just, you know, replace the switch. Or, or if the battery pack, um, you know, if something, um, you know, where, it, you know, it stopped uh, having it, you know, if it had issues or something, I could uh, easily uh, replace the uh, the batteries or the uh, whole battery pack. All right, so that's uh, that's it for this uh, first part of the uh, video, and uh, I'll wait um, and you know hopefully you know if I get some comments or questions, um, you know I'll um, you know expand on those and uh, I'll you know put another video together, um, you know explaining the um, you know how I you know actually wired it and. Um, you know the the size of wire and and um, as far as the uh, you know where you know i get the switches and um you know all the little uh parts um but it mainly from 
uh, eBay and um, Amazon. Um, and then, you know, I've, I've gotten stuff from, you know, local um, automotive, uh, you know, stores as well. So, you know, I've got a, um, you know, a variety of, of parts and, and such. So, um, you know, I'll, uh, you know, put that video together um, if anybody's, um, you know, if I get enough responses to, you know, justify, uh, you know, making a another video on it. So I appreciate you watching and, um, you know, I look forward to, you know, getting some, you know, good comments and, um, you know, even, even suggestions to, you know, to make it even better. So, alrighty, I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the next video. See ya. Oh, 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 oh,